Hey friends, uh, in this section we will discuss the type of leakage currents. Basically, in our previous slides, we have seen that the uh, insulation resistance depending upon the leakage current, but the leakage current is can be divided or it can it, it is a sum of four different currents. So let's see what are the types uh, of this. The one is the conductive leakage current. Uh, the second type is capacitive charging leakage current. The third type is polarizing absorption current. The fourth type is surface leakage current. So these all four currents basically the sum is forming the leakage current. So you can see this is an example. We have uh, shown two conductors and this will, uh, in it, and they will be through of the current between these uh, uh, two, the leakage current. And this is because of the resistance of the, there will be some high resistance between these two. So this simple current is, which is flowing through the resistance is called as conductive leakage current. But uh, we all know that uh, each, uh, when whenever two conductors which are linked together, they are also forming some capacitance because it's also act like a capacitor. And in this case, the capacitor will start charging and it will draw some current. So this uh, will also will be uh, added in the leakage current. So it's called as capacitive charging leakage current. But this current with after a certain time will decay and, uh, you, and you will get the stable reading. So initially the reading will be, rest, uh, will be less and with the time when the charging current is uh, decayed or uh, almost reduced to zero, the reading will increase and it will become stable. Then the third type is polarizing or the option current because whenever the voltage, DC voltage is applied, the molecules will align themselves in the direction of plus and minus respectively. And uh, there will be a flow of charge during this in the conductor. <coughs> and this flow of charge uh, is, is also the current. And it is kind of displacement current. And it's called as polarization current. And also this will be added in the leakage current. So we will discuss this uh, separately, these two and three um, in detail and how they work and how to measure them. Then fourth is surface leakage current. Uh, this is uh, can be seen mostly in the bushing uh, when the some current is flowing through the surface of the conductor of the bushing and this is also adding to the leakage current. So these are four different type of leakage current. Thank you very much.